Welcome to Builds with Blocks, a show centered around the micro action figures and brick based construction sets of the Halo universe. I'm your host, Gabe Clem, and today I'm joined by Tom Fishenden. Have Smoa Burger! Matthew Salvatore. Hi, guys. And Colin Perkins. Greetings! Today's episode is a deep dive into the figures from Mega Constructs, with a particular focus on the Blind Bag series, which we've all come to know and love. In today's episode, we're going to share our latest thoughts on Blind Bag Wave 3 from Halo Mega Constructs, which Mega Constructs revealed in collaboration with the Domain, and we will then present our pitches for a dream wave of a Blind Pack series in the future. Before we get into the main topic of the show, let's chat about what we've been up to on the block front. So, I'll probably start with Matt. Tell us, oh, Matt. What have you? What have burst. you gotten into? Uh, actually, Target was running a really big sale, oh, so right. I went and grabbed a bunch of Mega Construct sets. So, a, a turret, twenty six bucks. That's amazing! Oh, wow. Dang! So, <laughs> holy cow! I grabbed that. I grabbed that, and then I grabbed another Banshee, and then I grabbed the Chief versus Brute Warrior two pack. Okay. Um, so those, those are hanging grab... around on shelves. Well, I grabbed that. So yeah, I there's a lot the of those. Out. I grabbed that for the free shipping because I'm like, I'm not gonna <laughs> it was pay a sympathy buy. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I like the set, but I think like I'm like, I hate paying for shipping, so I like I usually end up buying yeah. something yeah. when I not get shipping. Mm. Um, and then uh, shout out to a good uh, good friend of mine, DC Outlaw. Um, he posted a picture of some Lego customs that he had purchased and it was like a black suit superman and so i i like all good friends he dragged me down the rabbit hole mm-hmm. um so <laughs> oh i boy. grabbed uh so I, hopefully they all look really cool but i grabbed a black suit superman and then i grabbed a like a uh, way more detailed shazam which i wish lego would do so i grabbed some of those nice. and that's i think i grabbed a couple of lego sets but i don't remember which ones i got <laughs> so that's uh that's it for on the uh on the collecting front for me sweet sweet colin what about you so go to target yeah right that was a good deal i um didn't take advantage of the sale um but i did Missing take out. apart my forward unto dawn and oh, no now... yeah it was a sad day although i had forgotten that when i took it apart i got it from another collector um it took it's all down to the studs it's every you know it's all apart um there were a couple a couple little pieces that he glued together there's like a little antennas i think like in the front right tiny yeah ones that those fall must have oh fall, my gosh fall those off. are horrible so anyway, those are glued um but i forgot that my figures are unopened so all of the figures mm. are still in their plastic which is kind of cool that's cool so that's nice. be fun and i'll and be the debate like when i put it back together it's like should i take these guys out <laughs> or should I leave go them get in? the full experience i know i should so um that's tucked away and ready to build maybe in a year or two with when the boys i think uh, you know it'll be fun to do that with the boys um yeah. what else oh i did um set aside a bunch of sets for because we've been doing our top tens um and we're gonna keep going through all of the games halo 5s eventually halo wars 2 so there's a there's a couple sets that i haven't built from those um uh, the Frost Raven I still need to build, so I'll get that built, and cool. so I can fight for that one. Um, and the Warzone Phaeton is another cool one. Uh, Ooh, with that kind of yeah, the Phaeton and those those yeah. orange figures. Yeah. Um, those are a couple. I'm sure there's a couple more I'm forgetting, but um, I'm, I'm excited to get back into building once I've you know finally done all my organizing, which I'm about done. I should finish uh, this weekend, and then I can focus on building stuff again, which would be good. Um, and I did make the rounds. I did make the rounds on Target. Um, I didn't get the deal but i did I, they're finally um halo heroes series 13 is finally showing up so i have picked up a couple of those and uh series two blind bags are finally Ooh. starting to overtake the series one blind bags so um, so like just grabbed a couple extras you're gonna be my supplier right like you'll yeah i got something special for you don't worry oh okay see that's why i'm here guys <laughs> this is why i'm on the podcast Good friends. Cheapers game. <laughs> what uh? What about you, Tom? Um. So it's been a very Lego heavy month for me this month. Oh, um, yeah. I've spent a little bit more money than I plan to again. I've said that two podcasts in a row. It's not looking great for my bank account. <laughs> um, yeah. So he needs I, an intervention. 
I, I do. Please, somebody take my wallet. Um, <laughs> not in a violent way, please. Uh, <laughs> not in a violent um, so way. I got, I got some custom Lego um, army figures from a company called United Bricks. Cool. I got some US infantry guys. And you can see I've got... Nice, well, you nice. can't see because my virtual background is going to screw it up. But I have <laughs> a set of um, 3D belts and also 3D vests that I'm going to put on them just to customise them a little bit more. Um, I then got a bunch of Lego pieces to put together four different variants of Captain America because if you didn't know he's my favourite character um, from the Marvel Same. films I didn't know so that. I exactly basically got um, the parts to add printed boots to two of the figures that they'd already released that just had plain legs um, right. I then got some parts to make like a custom shield operator version of Cap and then I also got the parts needed to make a civilian version of Steve Rogers um, oh, and then lastly, the I did one? grab it, um, like when he's just in his uniform on the helicarrier oh, in Avengers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then civilian Steve. Yeah, um, mainly from like actually it was based on the Winter Soldier when he goes on the run and he's like hiding from Shield. I yep. think that's my yeah, cool yeah, aesthetic yeah. for him. Does he have his cap on? He's got to have that blue cap on. <laughs> he does not cap. Got, cap. Um, no cap. The blue jacket. The grey t-shirt and then the tan trousers. Oh. Um, and the jacket's a Harry Potter piece that's like perfect for it. Um, okay, yeah. Can't and have then the grey trousers. It's on the table behind me and I would grab it, but my virtual background will mess it up. I finally, after pre-ordering it back in, I want to say December, um, got my Lego Razor Crest in hand. And so yeah. I built that earlier this Ooh, week. Oh, nice. How was it built? It's really cool. Um, cool. The interior is a little bit tighter than I expected. Yeah. Mm. But the cool thing with this build is not only does the rear ramp and the side ramps open up like in the show, um, but the side walls actually fold down. So you can fold down basically all the way around the cargo bay to proper get inside, get Whoa. the little carbonite freezer blocks out and kind of put That's any minifigures cool. in it. Um, yeah, so it, it's a really well done build and it's quite quite well nice. scaled. It might actually... I'll grab it because it might show up better because it's a larger item. Um, I was really impressed it with it. On the show? I was really impressed with it. I got it for my brother for Christmas. So you oh, can, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, kind yeah, of see it there. Yeah. Nice. And then all of like that folds down. Obviously, that folds oh, down. Oh, dude, that's super cool. That folds down. Wow. On both sides, so you can get all the way inside it. So it's yeah. a really, really nice build. And it's definitely Is up there, to um, the things I've built this year. Is there like a door from the cargo hold to the cockpit? Or is that just one bit? Like uh, one I don't room? think so. I think it's all sealed off. Although oh, it, okay. is a, it is quite okay. a skeletal build. Right. So there might be like a gap at the back. I'd have to go in and take a look at it. Nice. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Oh, yeah. Well, here's where I come in, sort of like a bum, because I haven't really bought anything. <laughs> <laughs> um virginia virginia is really 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 lacking like any mega construct stuff um I, th I went to target a few days ago my girlfriend was home and we went shopping and um they had i don't know they had the two pack um they have the big buildable master chief which i'm kind i kind of feel like picking that up now since it's still available i feel i don't know i feel like maybe that that would be something i'd want later so i might I might grab that, but they don't. They don't have any of the new series. I still have yet to see uh, series thirteen or series two of the blind packs in stores. So hopefully, actually, um, hopefully with the the newer ones or even with the current ones, hopefully those will come out soon. But uh, I did find a guy on Facebook who was willing to help me out. Um, he said that he found series thirteen in Louisiana, so he's going back today, and he said he might send me a couple of elites, but. Other than that, I, I honestly haven't really bought anything. Obviously, I've been working on figures. Um, my semester, my spring semester is slowly coming to an end. So within the next few weeks, mm. I'll be done with that. And then I can focus nice. more on, on on working a bit more on the podcasts and videos and things. So I'm excited for that. But cool. that's about Eels, as far yeah. as my uh, collecting goes, unfortunately. That's all right. We all have a So if we're ready... Yeah. Let's, Let's move that. on to the main topic, uh, number one, which would be wave three 
of yeah. the Mega yeah. Constructs Halo blind packs. So those, for those that, you know, if you don't know, those were just revealed um, this this week. I guess it was, you know, whenever this goes up, it was past. But uh, the domain was working in collaboration with Mega Constructs to reveal uh, Halo Infinite themed uh, blind pack series three. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we'll go around. We'll give our thoughts uh, on you know the figure choice and the weapon choice and how we're feeling about everything. So let's start with um, let's start with the figures. How do we feel about you know the variety of the figures? How do wh- what do we think of what they picked? Can I hop in first? Yeah, you Is go first. Cool? Yeah, um, yeah, go for it. I like it. I think there's some good diversity here. Is Nice mm-hmm. to see some new Spartan sculpts with the Centurion and the Hermes. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Usually they sort of blind bags just get repaints of Spartans that are going to be in that wave anyway. I mean, they could be, mm-hmm. but <laughs> um, mm-hmm. it's it's just nice getting Spartans that we haven't already got. Um, there's some good color diversity across the line as well. Obviously, the Marine isn't that diverse, but she's got the Miranda head sculpts. So that's nice. Um, yeah. And I think the Covenant I mean, people love Marines. Cool. Yeah. Um, obviously, I'm sure we'll talk about it on its own, but the Grunt's awesome. There's an active camo chieftain. Yep. And I think the only thing I'm not a fan of is the Turquoise Ultra. Um, but that's more for me personally, because yeah. I tend to prefer... If, if, if it's going to be like a Banished or a Covenant enemy, um, then I like it to be in the game accurate colour, whereas I, I, I'm not so bothered with Spartans, because they're all different colours anyway. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you can make those like multiplayer colors. Oh, hold on. What do you uh, What do you think about this series, Matt? Uh, I like it. I think it's got some strong figures. Um, yeah, I'm I'm with Tom. the The colors, especially the pink and the turquoise, aren't aren't my thing. You know, I yeah. I, I like the ultra mold. Um, the uh, the it is cool to see. You know what we would consider Fred and Kelly's armor, right? Especially because they mm-hmm. kind of fall into that fall of reach, not fall of reach, shadows of reach kind of look. Yeah, yeah shadows um, so of reach. Yeah. hopefully that is an indicator of something with infinite. I don't know. <laughs> Things I, I to come, it, yeah. Infinite straws here, but um, yeah. um, I, do, right. I do appreciate that. Um, I don't mind the color of the orange. I think it actually kind of looks cool yeah. against the against yep. the blue. Uh I'm always a fan of a marine, so this is kind of nice. I like that we're, you know, we get the helmet, we get a different head sculpt, assault rifle. Never say no to that. It's interesting that this is the, um, oh, uh, yeah. Halo Five assault rifle. Yeah, uh, it seems kind of. Yeah, so it is kind of interesting that they they threw that in there. I I don't know what that means. Uh, I do like the uh, active camo brute chieftain. I think that's cool. Will you and use that think, at all, Matt? the chieftain yeah in a, in a stop motion yeah uh i have done a couple of uh earlier stop motions i don't know if they're still to, you know totaling around out there but uh where i've intercut uh, an actual figure with the active camo to show like like i've built yeah i've replaced yeah. pieces of like an arm with an active camo to show it's like transitioning into active oh, camo mm-hmm, cool um I haven't done that as of recently because I don't think I have any 2.0 active camo elites. Mm. Um, so well, they've done very, think... very, very few active camo, like yeah. new articulation figures yeah. in yeah. general, yeah. especially so that's elites. Probably. So with this brute chieftain, he'll pair really well with yeah. uh, Halo Heroes. Yeah, I want, I want to see you do so something with cool. that. Yeah, um, I'll say that the, in my opinion. Uh, the standout is the grunt. I think that's the most eye-catching. Yeah, yeah he's wild. And I think it's just like it screams like I am a banished grunt. Yeah, I like it. I dig it. You you have any uh, any additional thoughts, Colin, on on the figure choice? No, I'm I'm curious, Gabe, on your thoughts on this grunt because he, he is like he yeah, draws so... the, when you're looking at everything, he, he's like, what is going on with this guy? <laughs> right, he's right, like yeah. ready for action. He's got like. A weapons rack on his back i think like i feel like this is also a point of speculation for like is this guy gonna be in the game mm-hmm. i mean first Dude, about the entire the series apocalypse. dude's loaded yeah he's ready. <laughs> I, i'd say yeah. i'd say this is probably like my 
well, yeah, this is probably like my first or like number one, number two spot for a favorite blind pack series. Like everything, really? everything wow. in this series with the exception of the ultra. Cause I think this is like, well, I guess it would be, is this the second time? I don't know. I, for one, in, in general, I'm not really a fan of the new Ultra Mold. I just, it doesn't. It looks yeah. very low poly. I don't. I don't really like it. Yeah. But aside from that, I actually love everything else. Seeing the like Gen Three EVA armor for you know yeah. what we would call Kelly. That's mm-hmm. something that I know I've been asking for for a long time mm-hmm. since they did Halo Legends Chief and Fred. Is that Spartan a female body? Could you tell? I can't tell from the pictures. I have no uh-huh. idea. I don't think but so. But I'm guessing it... I, uh, I feel like it could be. I mean, if because, like, my thought process is, if they made that, the chances of them going to make Kelly, probably. And oh, they mm-hmm. would put yeah. her on a female torso, so I mean... I'm just happy that the armor is there. Like, it yeah, doesn't no, matter, I mean, I'm in happy my opinion, male or female, that means it's in the game. At least that's what Isn't I'm the armor... For. It's designed to work on both types of body anyway, isn't it? So it wouldn't make a difference. If not she, female. Like if not Kelly female ends up Spartan being armor. In the main line. Oh, is it? Okay. Fem- female Spartan armor is specifically molded to their different torsos. That's why, like, okay, cat's cool. chest armor. I didn't actually fit realize on... that. Yeah. Cause I, that, well, that's what that I hoped sense. for. And then I got a, I got a new female <laughs> figure and was like, oh, good. <laughs> it, I can't do anything with this. But <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> what made me really happy actually was, was seeing the centurion come back because the last time we saw that yes. figure was in series charlie blind packs from like 2015 2014 something like that so it's been a really right? really really long time yeah mm-hmm. it's been forever but um i think there's a solid lineup and then obviously getting back to so we'll, we'll move on to talk about the the one figure uh particularly the grunt um yeah never seen yeah. this before like Nobody has any clue what this character is. No one knows what it's supposed to be. So uh, we'll put a picture up here for you guys to look at it. But it, it, it looks like some banished grunt, obviously with the mask and everything, with like a harness yeah. on the back carrying shock rifles. Right. Which is so... I don't even know what to make of that. Like, is it... Because <laughs> I've seen a lot of people speculating, like, one of two things. Either it's a grunt that can use the shock rifles, like a, like they'll flip forward and he can shoot at you. Yeah. Or he's be cool. carrying them for the brutes, which would make sense to me. Because mm-hmm. you see in the demo, a brute picks up a grunt and like, throws him like he's a bomb. So, I mean, I feel yeah. like the grunts are a little more... Uh, I was talking to Bolvi um, about this, and he th- he, mm-hmm. he brought up the point in hey in Halo, your your enemies never run out of ammo. So yeah, yeah. why would you need a mobile, uh, you know, a, a mobile weapons rack unless they added that mechanic in? Yeah, where, maybe that's something you know, there. All of a sudden, yeah. the the enemy has to chuck their weapon because it's out yeah. of ammo, and then they grab it from the back of this guy. It, it's interesting True. though because. It, they they have built in the mechanic over the years of when you pick up a weapon, it uh, only has so much ammo in it. Sometimes it's yeah. half, sometimes mm-hmm. it's five bullets, sometimes it's not. So they like they have that mechanic, but the enemies yeah. still just you know de- 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 <laughs> infinite <laughs> ammo, right? Well, another thing that I was considering was like while the idea of it being like a heavy munitions grunt would be cool, it comes with its own plasma pistol. So if it was right. like a heavy, like a mortar grunt, why would it need yeah. such a tiny little dinky gun if it was able to use the big <laughs> right. guns? Yeah. So, so that's why I so feel inclined to say it's carrying those weapons for the for the. When other I first saw this, in my opinion, it reminded me of that um, that cave troll in the Battle of the Five Armies that he has like the mobile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, catapult. So what I thought this was is that the grunt runs down, you know, hunkers down, like, you know, and then a brute comes from behind and grabs the guns and uses them as, like, a mobile turret. And, and like, so... That's a super cool idea. So instead of the grunt having... The brute's having to carry these turrets around, the grunt just drops down, the brute grabs both the guns and just... Because if you think... That's a sick idea. If you're looking at this grunt and you're saying, oh, he controls these two guns, he doesn't. Because in Halo, you have to have 
um, you know, all things, you have to have some kind of trigger. And he's not holding anything or he's not, you know what I mean? Like there's nothing where he's yeah. instigating well, yeah. a shot. Mm-hmm. So this is either, it's either a weapons rack where the brutes grab it. And to Colin's point, it doesn't make sense that they would, uh, you know, because our enemies don't run out of ammo. Because Unless they do. Me, Unless they do yeah. now. They won't live then, long enough to use all their ammo. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it wouldn't be new weapons either, would it? It doesn't make sense to be new weapons and just not cartridges. So I think the fact that it's weapons is specific. You know what he kind of looks yeah. like if you guys played Gears of War? He looks like a miniature Brumac. <laughs> you know that big giant oh, true. With a gun yeah, true. on his back? <laughs> I love that helmet, though. Yeah, the helmet. Is really yeah. The helmet cool. looks like a brute captain helmet. Well, you never know. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, really kind of leaning into that whole scavenger type thing. I'm going to make yeah, Colin very happy because I think there's a transforming element to this. Ooh. If you look at the backpack, it's really big and bulky. So I wonder if the grunt takes the backpack off and either it transforms into a mortar or some kind of auto turret. So you're saying there's more that meets the eye? Yeah. <laughs> that was good thank you thank you for that isn't there a peg hole on the back of the grunt like isn't there Ooh. isn't there a yeah. like a peg hole on the back piece oh, so maybe like you under take the that whole tank? apparatus and mount it it's possible yeah does this grunt have like a f- it doesn't have the so it's really kind of just a f- it's flat right yeah it's just That's flat so it's just flat back there we can finally have naked grunts running oh, around gosh. in our Mega Constructs collections. Calm, you oh, just had to make good it weird. good God. <laughs> so moving on, uh, anyway. Well, hold on. We haven't talked about the Wasp. Um, the Wasp was pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, dig yeah. it. Yeah, it's all right. Oh? <laughs> I mean... I just... You know me. It's like, I'm not a build boy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's I a good representation of what the Wasp... The Phantom. I think it's a good representation yeah, of like the Wasp. For, and um, it also yeah. hints that I think we're going to be using that wasp quite a bit in Halo. Oh, 100%. oh for sure. Oh, like it's in yeah. key art. Yeah. It's in here. Like they, there's other things we've seen. Um, yeah, I think wasp <laughs> is going to be heavy, heavy. Watch. In, you won't see the wasp at all. At yeah, all exactly. Infinite. Yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> it was in a previous build of the game. Yeah, right. exactly. It would be like, oh no, it's it's not there. <laughs> um, real quick, uh, the other comment I like the the. Marine, the the female Marine, I think she's good at, at diversity that we need yeah. to our armies. Yeah, um, she's a redhead, right? I think you're right. Yeah, oh, yeah. The picture she I'm is. looking at. Oh, um, I'm looking at the picture. It's got a helmet on. Oh boy. Do you? What do you guys think's the ra- the rare? The rare is going to be the build, like the the ultra rare. I reckon rare? the build, and I don't think the grunt's going to be common. You think the grunt's going to be common? I don't think it will. I don't think you put that many new pieces on something and make it common. I think common. so too. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Well, then what's he... the other rare? That's the chief, the point. camo, Probably the chieftain. camo, the camo chieftain. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And we you do know what's... have some feedback. Sorry, Matt. Go ahead. Go I ahead just want to say really quick elsewhere. the detail that you see on this grunt. He almost would be like a Halo Heroes grunt. Like just yes. Like yeah. so how much what you get for him? Anyway. Yeah. Go for it. Um, so I actually prepared for an episode for a change as opposed to just showing up f- five minutes after a shower. Um, oh, anyone who listened go. to the last main episode will get that reference. Um, and I don't even get that I reference and I edited it. our Build to Box <laughs> Discord chat um, what they think of this wave. So we do have a little bit of feedback from nice. Discord as well. Okay. Sick. Um, so Chuck EV said that they're excited to get a few of the grunts from it, which I think we all share. Uh, the pesky bird said they don't want another ultra, yeah, but they quite like are. the build of the wasp. And then Mega X said the new grunt mold looks amazing. I'm happy to see the legends Fred armor is back. The new Kelly armor is great as well. Maybe Mega can reuse the new female torso armor for a redo of Alice. Mm. The Marine also looks like they share the same head mold as Miranda Keys, and the mm. mini wasp build is nice looking. It's funny how the Marine comes with the Halo 5 assault rifle with the infinite AR ammo counter. Yeah. Um, so yeah. thank very, you to everyone who took the very time to insightful. pick that up on Discord. Yeah. Um, 
so, feel free to come and hang out on our Discord if you do want to talk about Mega Construct stuff. Absolutely, yeah. One more comment absolutely. on the EVA type armor. Like, that, the dome on the thing looks like it goes further back yeah. than and other armors that we've mm-hmm. seen, right? So it's a variation. I, I actually had... Um... Last year, actually it may have been late 2019, but I, I think it was last year um, I did a custom uh, Halo Legends Kelly using a 3D printed uh, Gen 3 EVA helmet. Um, and I was comparing it to the official Mega one, and this one actually looks like like one for one the version from the Shadows of Reach cover. Because like if you look at them, the Shadows of Reach version and the Halo Legends version, they're a little different like there's little designs on the visor and everything but this looks just like the shadows mm-hmm. of reach version which gets me really excited oh cool um what do we think of the weapons i've seen a few people that weren't too happy with like two gravity hammers and yeah i mean yeah i think at this point be it being brutal um there should have maybe been one new weapon i i think mm. just because Bear, bear yeah. in mind, from my perspective, I've been collecting Jazzwares as well, and they've been very much out the gate with those new weapons straight away. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would have liked to have seen either the Commando or the Pulse Rifle, because I think those Gosh. are the two that other companies have been doing straight away. Yeah. So I if, want a Pulse Carbine so one, bad. I would have really loved to have seen the Commando this time around. I think you're going to probably see the Commando with a uh, a bigger debut than on a blind bag. I think you're exactly going to see it in a hero. Probably, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it will be heroes or it will turn up in the summer wave set. So I'm not that concerned. Um, it was just something that I didn't yeah. note. I'll say that I think it's actually kind of cool to have a active camo gravity hammer. I think if they had given yeah. me any other weapon with a with with a yeah. chieftain that wasn't the gravity hammer, I would have been a little kind of disappointed because. I think, like I yeah. said, I think it pairs well yeah. with this guy. So I'm happy with that. I think it's very interesting that we're getting the uh, other style assault rifle. I don't know all the numbers. Um, I do like the, <laughs> the plasma repeater. <laughs> I do like yes. the plasma repeater. Yeah. I think that's kind of yeah. cool. Uh, I don't think we've had enough of yeah. those. So I'm happy to see those. But um, I'm kind of uh, – I, I feel like I have so many shock rifles it's not even funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm kind of yeah. I'm kind of over the shock rifle now. What I'm really, ex- I'm really excited that there's a sniper rifle. I, I don't think they've ever put a sniper yeah. rifle in a blind pack series before. Yeah. So for people that like snipers, there you go. That's super cool. Oh um, really? Yeah, I think you're right, Gabe. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they've ever done that before. I, I'm with you, Tom. Though I, I really, really would have loved to see like a pulse carbine or something because. As much yeah. as I love the plasma repeater, great weapon, severely underused. I just, I really want to see a, a, an official pulse carbine. Um, I do think it, it's worth adding just because obviously we've done episodes in the past where we get a little bit more insight into that design process. So I do yeah. totally get that a lot of this is probably still recuperating the fact that we got so much new stuff the first time around. Um, yeah. So I do get that, but I'm hoping that we'll slowly see it continuing to trickle in. If you they do, talk... sorry, What's up, go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say if they do a commando, I, I'd kind of like to see them go the route of because I feel personally that the commando is one of the more like not in a bad way but it's one of the more like call of duty looking weapons i mean it's the first yeah. non bullpup rifle in halo so i feel like if, because of how it looks i feel like it'd be cool if they did it in the in the way they did cod weapons where you can take the magazine yeah. off and the scope off and the maybe take the stock off i feel like that would look super cool but i yeah. I, I don't know if they would mesh those two lines together so i i'd say all around we feel pretty good about wave 3 um well, yeah, yeah. Is, do you feel like there's anything anything missing? I mean, Tom, you said you wanted some new weapons, but is, I mean, Colin yeah, and Matt, I think that's guys... all I wanted to cover with that. Um, I, f- I think it's a good balance, you know. Like, it's I always think Mega have it very hard with blind bags because it's easy to do too many multicolored Spartans yeah. um, and easy to not do enough new enemies. But I think they've balanced it quite well here. True. Um, 
And um, one thing I do want to say, I like how there's a green metallic Spartan yeah. in every blind bag wave currently. Because for mm. me, as the geek who's really into actual mm. military doctrine, mm-hmm. I really like the fact that there's that more grounded colour constantly available as I well. completely agree. I yeah. completely agree. Yeah. I would not like to run into battle in a pink. Like, looking at that green <laughs> centurion, it just looks like a Spartan. It honestly, actually, yeah. it just looks like uh, in the yeah. fall of Reach, when they get their first suits, that's what it made me think of. Yeah. Mm. Having them all one color mm-hmm. again is kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's a solid, <clears throat> solid series. I mean, I don't really have... I mean, you can have little tweaks here and there, but we're yeah. going to get more of these things, right? Yeah, and then we're going to get those things that we wanted. So I feel like from a variety standpoint, <clears throat> um, I mean, I think it's I think it's great. There's obviously going to be some favorites right. and, and yeah. things that people like more than others. Um, but some people probably do like the, the, the kind of colors you don't see very often so um you know you can get you can get marines you can get Mm -hmm. a green uh spartan yeah Yeah. i think the only thing i would change if i like could change one thing i would change the ultra to a gold color and that would make it that would be pretty nice yeah i dig that because you get like a dark gray a light gray a gold we have a white it'd be yeah that'd be cool i dig it spoilers all right, so I think it's about time we move on to the main, main topic of today's yeah, show, yes. which is the coming up topic. with what our is that? our dream series for the blind packs. So these would be, mm-hmm. you know, any figures that we would just, we would die to have in a blind pack series. Um, we, before this, we haven't revealed what we've come up with, so it could be anything. Go ahead and, and tell us your, your dream okay, blind so, series. Um, I've, I've done a little bit of prep for this. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh, Tom, boy. with prep time? Okay. Here we go. The year is oh, 2552. He's reading. Humanity is losing the war in a bitter conflict against the alien army known as the Covenant. Now... With the Fool of Reach blind bag series, oh. your UNSC survivors can take the fight to the Covenant in one final stand against the unyielding darkness. Visual cue. Visual cue. Ooh. <laughs> okay. The Fool of Reach blind bag series includes seven micro action figures and one micro build. Okay, I'm the, the only first one. figure is the UNSC Pillar of Autumn Marine with an enclosed helmet and the MA-37 assault rifle. There you go. This is followed by the UNSC ODST Bullfrog with a DMR and a jetpack. You then have got the Spartan CQC in metallic green armour with a grenade launcher. Followed on from this, you have the super-articulated Skirmisher Miner who comes with a plasma pistol. Nice. Next up, I feel like I'm just going through quickly, but it's all good. I'm <clears> no, it's perfect. We'll comment say. when you're done. After this, you've got the Grunt Major, who comes with a needler. And as you can see, the Grunt Major is the new design with the new backpack. You have then got the Elite Zealot with the Energy Sword. The Brute Major, who is... Just there, <laughs> with the just there. <laughs> plasma repeater, and then lastly, the buildable ship for this wave is a buildable Covenant Spirit dropship. Oh, I like this, Tom. You you, you cut okay. out for me on one of them. I couldn't hear. I think it was the second to the last one. Brute Major with plasma repeater. Okay, cool. Ooh, there you cool. go. I dig it. I dig it. <laughs> This is good, man. Lots of variety on the enemies. You get four enemies there, three UNSC, and then the buildable ship. Mm-hmm. I-, I think you nailed this from a reach standpoint. I mean, all these are in in reach. Um, mm-hmm. So, are you going to do any fun colors like we talked about in the you know previous conversation, or are they all going to be like standard? Military. They're all going to be like standard campaign colors. Okay. I love it. Um, so the major, for example, would be the red. The zealot, you've got the crimson. The brute is kind of the bronzy color. Mm-hmm. Um, the skirmisher miner is gray, but you could do it slightly greenish if you wanted to add that visual variety. Obviously, the spirit's purple. Mm-hmm. The Spartan's metallic green. The ODST bullfrog is the darker gray colors. And then the Pillar of Autumn Marines have got that brown armor. 
So from the John Friend perspective, hopefully there's a nice variety of colours there to make it feasible. Nice. Mm. Ooh, that's pretty good. No I, l- here. I love everything about your series except for the green Uh-oh. CQC because yeah. we got a green, like literally yeah. exactly a green CQC. So if that was switched to something else, I'd give it Cobalt. a 10 out of 10. But at the moment, I'd probably say like 9.5 out of 10. <laughs> I'll take it. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I'll with it. the Spartan, I was like, Gotta... so I, I wanted to, I know we said Dreamwave, but I wanted to do it so it would be a little bit more realistic yeah. to what Mega would do as well. Yeah. So I, I was like, I've got to reuse a Spartan armor. I really like the CQC, and I've not got the metallic green one. I didn't know they'd done it, so I was like, yes, I want that. Right, hmm? right, right. Matt, he didn't follow the... Nah, Matt put, like, buildable w- Warden Eternal. That's it. Like, that's the whole series. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> they all build together. I love it. Okay. That's awesome. I think, uh, I think my favorite would probably be... Shoot, I think the Marine. I just love the Marines. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think, especially the Reach Marines, those guys are look awesome. True. Yeah, I agree. I've got two McFarlane ones somewhere that I really want to dig back out. If I, if I had to pick, like, a favorite from your lineup, I would definitely go with the Grunt, hands down. I, I'm so yeah. I'm so over Grunt Miners. Like, See, I just want the new the one, dude. As well, I was like, well, if I include that here, then with a little bit of retooling, they could do a Spec Ops grunt down the line Exactly. As well. They would just need a mask. That's it. And they've already got the peg hole, so you could... Man, you're a genius. Look Tom, you. you added in <laughs> so much you. logistics to that. I just went with like, did everything prepared. I wanted. I'm like, that, that, that. I'm like, exactly. Do <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to share? Do you want to share yours next, Matt? Okay, all right. So while Tom was reading his list off, I feverishly decided to find something that set the mood too. <laughs> so oh, here we go. If you could see me, all right. So nice. On the blood of our fathers, mm. on the blood of our sons, yes. we swore to uphold the covenant <laughs> even to our dying breath. So I went with a entire elite blind bag series whoa yeah. so Ooh. my idea behind this was you were gonna take every kind of form of elite in halo and then put them in a blind bag so oh my, my God, first crazy my, my, yeah so my first pick so this is like the ultimate blind bag army builder yeah set. so yes. i went with an elite miner we have Fair. a lot of them but in the traditional blue Mm -hmm. And then we did the Elite Major, and I wanted this one to be the Reach color, so it's kind of like a a goldish red. Yep. And then we have the Elite Ultra, and this is the Elite colors as well from Reach, so we have the white white and red. Mm -hmm. And then we have an Elite Warlord from Infinite, and I want that to be a rich rich gold. I want that to be gold. And then we have an Elite Honor Guard, and then I want that to be... You know, the gold and red. And then I decided to throw it in an Elite Banished. And so that one is that silver red. We kind of got one like similar to it in, I think it was... The Banshee. The Banshee. Yeah, the Banshee. Mm -hmm. And then I threw in an Elite Heretic. Ooh, gosh. And lastly... There's more? Well, one more. A Flood Elite. (laughs) Oh, cool. okay. Yeah. And, and a it's flood super articulated. Yes. All of it, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So with, uh, with the Elite Heretic, we get like a little bit of a brownish kind of uh, brownish kind of decayed look uh, mm-hmm. for the Heretic. Yeah. Okay, so like that. Matt's list wins. Thank you all for joining us on this episode. <laughs> um, <laughs> geez. That'd like be amazing that if they did that. Yeah. yeah. And so my idea was is that you could take this kind of like faction blind bag and apply it to everything yeah so you could do yeah. the unsc where you get like a naval officer a military officer a marine an odst yeah. mm-hmm. and just kind of like this snapshot of each each faction right and then with the grunts or the brutes you could do the same but right. i think i chose the elites because i think they have such a rich rich variety in yeah. armor and yeah. color so and style i love the blind bag oh idea God. for this but i also want just like a, a pack yeah, I just want you know, an elite yes. set. <laughs> give me sick. all of those in one pack. I'll give you 30 bucks or whatever it ends well, up being. I think it, I personally think it would probably work better as a blind bag because 
if you if say you are just picking the ones that you want, you might not grab as many elite miners because I already have a significant amount of those. Sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. And then we could get an ongoing blind bag series exactly. down the road. Oh, thing. yeah. Exactly. Anyway, exactly. Colin, start talking so Tom stops. <laughs> <laughs> am I up? Am I on my pick? Yeah. Yeah. How about, okay. how about you tell us? Well, hmm. Atriox. Atriox. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing Halo 3. Oh. Halo okay. 3 cool. theme. And this, so I feel like the other two, Matt's and Tom's, are like feasible. This probably isn't feasible. Okay. <laughs> and you'll you'll see why in a second. I mean, hey, it's called our Dream Blind Pack series. That's fine. Yeah. So the Halo dream. Three. What's Halo Three that we all want back? We want Flood. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. here we go. So okay. I got some Flood in this blind. These blind bags. Give me a um, little baggie of infection forms, kind of like what we've gotten before okay. recently. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I don't. I, mm-hmm. I like that idea. So we can put them around and, and uh, you know create a little How many flood infection bag? form army. Um, what do we have before three? I think. I mean. Yeah, like three. That's fine. Three or four. Yeah. Yeah. Then give me a combat form, a brute combat form. <laughs> yes. With a rocket launcher. <laughs> give me. I like it. Give me a tank form. And I think that, that that's what puts it out of reality because like that's, like, that's probably not going to happen. I mean, they managed to fit a hunter in heroes packaging, so you never know. Yeah, they could. They mm. could pull it mm. off. Mm. <laughs> then, um, so there's there's my flood army that you can build. Then give me an elite major with that a red one um, nice. with a carbine and something that you could probably maybe swap some pieces out with the the brute combat form, so you can like also make an elite combat form. I don't know how that would work exactly with like the head and all that sort of stuff, but who knows? You can mix and match a little bit. And then, um, so I played the storm earlier today, and I want nice. some of those workers, you know, those guys yeah. with the, the yellow yeah, hard hats. civilians, yeah, just... Yeah. Because maybe if you have some flood pieces, then you can create a human flood also, right? right. You can uh-huh. like mix right, and match right, some, right. Uh, some arms and some stuff like that. So give me a human worker so they can be taken over. Okay. Um... All right, a couple more. So that's five. I feel like you're building up. I feel like we're going to get Yeah, I feel like just going to be something. To go. something. The grave mind figure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have in that little bag. Cortana in here. So okay. we can get Cortana. Okay. Can dig it. And I think traditional color Cortana makes the more, most sense here. Um, her, yeah. her little, um, uh, I guess weapon or whatever her little uh, additional would be like probably an index maybe I don't know if you guys think of anything else that she would yeah, make sense yeah. within I, Halo index. Three. Index is kind of cool. They would we have an index would before. Would you do a Redux of Series Four and have the buildable data chip? Ooh, that could be cool. But that or the data that would chip? be like that would take my buildable out. I, I like that idea. So the data well, chip then you would the would... data chip came with Cortana in Season Four as one figure. Yeah, that data oh, chip did. is pretty cool. Oh, okay. You could do a double nice. A. All right, so do you want my buildable figure or the last figure first? A surprise. Yeah, 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 yeah just yeah. just lay it on. Buildable right. figure first. Buildable thing first. Buildable thing. Okay, give me a mini arc. Oh, <gasps> Ooh, I like that. How cool yes, that be? sir. A little thing. It should be. It should be easy enough, right? With like the you know what does that have yeah. six arms? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I dig it. So you, you can have a be... little one of those. You know what would be really cool to add to it is do you guys remember that shade turret? Um the shade turret had like those fins on the side. Mm-hmm. Oh uh, yeah, you could yeah. Use those and then have the interior printed with like art layout and then yeah. have the yeah. outside. Oh yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. Kevin, I know you're watching. Let's get on this. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right. And then the other one, which I don't even know if they can make anymore, but give me a Hayabusa. Give me that Hayabusa. Oh, oh, come yeah. on. Give me that. Give me a black Hayabusa. Jeez. Undersuit. <laughs> give me that sword. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I'm That's, Are you getting a new sheath piece as well? Do they have sheath pieces? Uh-uh. They did back in the day, but this is your yeah. green wave. Yeah, so. shoot, do it. <laughs> Give that to me. They got it's one of those. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> yeah, that's a heavy, that's a heavy hitting series. I, I really, a buildable arc is something I've thought about since they released the ring piece. 
I thought yeah. I thought another one they could do would be so cool to have a have a buildable arc that sat up on like a little display yeah. like that. But even yeah. at a blind pack, that would be yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. I like. I, I, think like... Fo- I think I like your focus on flood most yeah. of all because I feel like we've we've like crazily enough of all my collection, I don't own a single flood form. I what? just have the spores. What? I don't own a single flood form. Wow. Yep. Um. So I would love to get some flood back. Um, Did you have them tanks. and then sell them, or is never? No. I thought you. I thought that's why you liked the uh, floods. The what is it? The floodgate. The flood outbreak. Oh, that's. Yeah, but I don't own it. That's why I like it. Oh, I like the, dude. I like, yeah, I don't. Okay. I don't own. I only have the spores that. Uh, first one. I first flood set spore I got was with mercy. Wow! Oh, really? Wow. I to call them regret. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah so coming. i think I, I knew it i, I think it. if we had more flood within that articulation yeah a new articulation i think that'd be legit i wouldn't mind having uh piggybacking off my whole elite design i wouldn't mind if they did a uh, a flood pack like that where we got the spores and then we had each faction that was a flood version so we got like a, a flood cool. brute a flood elite a flood mm-hmm. human I think that would yeah. be kind of cool. Yeah, too. that'd be sick. The grunts can't become full functioning flood forms, right? They don't have like the mass. No, they're nah. not supposed to. I think they might have snuck them in in Halo Wars when they shouldn't have. But <clears throat> okay, let me. Can I? Oh, sorry, I was zoned out there. Hey, what's up? Um, I really like the inclusion of the civilians. Yeah. One thing I wish they had done when the NMPD line was present was find a way to factor in just civilian figures. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What, yeah, just because, you know, every now and then you want people for the Covenant to just brutally murder. Yeah, right. I want that guy in the Halo 4 cutscene that the Elite just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I want him to build in the hole so you can just slide the... Uh... <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Interchangeable torso. That yeah. should be a hero's figure, random go. sword like, guy. So like does that mean we could get an interchangeable torso for an Emil figure? Yeah. Oh, oh that would be that's harsh. interchangeable <laughs> head for that's harsh. Oh god. Oh, imagine if imagine if you had like the 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 like the torso piece, and then it had like a little piece that you could pop out. Yeah. And then oh, you could that just... would be cool. I like that. People yeah. would have way interchangeable too much fun with dust that. for George. Oh yeah. <laughs> you just oh, get he a, just turns like, into you just dust. Get a hero I... series package that's just full of dust. But George oh is still alive. Gosh. He's not okay. dust. He's just slip spaced right. yeah. away. Like a, a cat head with a giant needle sticking through it. <laughs> so moving on and to my blind pack removable. series. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Carter, Carter just has like a smushed so, pelican up against him. Oh god! <laughs> so Gabe, take us away. My love dream you know team. blind pack series. I went with one thing and then halfway through gave up and changed it. The premise <laughs> is. Uh, similar to the 20th anniversary set that we talked about a couple weeks back, oh, I decided to do a 20th anniversary blind pack series. Oh, cool. Oh, and sick. each of the packs would be themed with one figure from across eight different Halo games going CE, 2, 3, ODST, oh. Reach, 4, 5, and Infinite. Brilliant. Thank oh. money. So, 20th anniversary blind bag. Legit. For, for the CE figure was Captain Keys. Yep. Cuz yeah. we've gotten him once in series 9 of the heroes and I've I ne- I made the dumb mistake of not picking up more and I really really want him back. And I feel like maybe I got, they could I, I don't know, one. they could do they could do like a basic like a basic paint up just so it's, you know, blind pack yeah. whatever. Um, give him like gray hair instead of black hair. Yeah, give him a little peg so he's got his cigar. We're good. Yeah. So, <laughs> moving on to Halo 2. <laughs> Halo 2. Uh, Wait, does the Keys come new... with a needle rifle that he picks up after you pack after you save yeah, him? Yeah, he's got or a to. magnum. He could. That's a good idea. A needleer. Yeah, there you go. Life. Yeah, needleer and, and a then magnum. he just said, randomly yells, "Stow the belly aching." <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're a leatherneck. So All the Halo two figure talk. I went for. <laughs> so the Halo two figure I chose was a Halo two anniversary uh, elite miner. Using the new mold coming Savage. from the 20th anniversary set. Or, you know, one with all of its jaws. Um, mm-hmm. Because, you know, 
H2A elites. Oh, one thing I should specify about this elite, if it were in a blind pack, it would be using the proper pieces. It would use an honor guard chest. It would use an honor mm. guard back and it would use the Halo Wars two feet because mm. that's the right way to do H2A elites. Cool. But anyway, the Halo three figure. So this internet. elite actually has a back. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's cruel. That's cruel, Tom. Keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> this has just become into a roast episode. Right. Cat, George, Emil. So for the Halo 3 figure, I I haven't decided whether or not I want this to be like resized. Like I guess in a world I would, but brute stalker. Because they've given us brute oh, captains, yeah. brute miners. I would love a brute stalker. Because really all you would need is the helmet piece. I mean, just make all the other pieces in black. There you go. You have a brute, brute stalker. I feel like that'd yeah. be super sick. <laughs> yeah. um, now, yeah. if I was going to be really crazy, that would be a proper sized brute stalker. I mean, they would right. be like big figures. Yeah. For mm-hmm. Halo ODST, I went with a visor mode brute chieftain. Yeah. Yeah. For the Halo Reach figure, similar to how, Tom, you did the, uh, the grunt major, I went with a grunt ultra. Because I would love oh. to see the Reach Grunt Ultras. Because then that again, cool. if you if you just repaint an Ultra, you could have a Grunt Heavy from Halo yeah. Reach. And there you I go. I nearly said Heavy because of this. I'm so yeah. proud of you. Yeah. So you the Halo think about figure, the logistics of it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Matt. Matt. Collins like, over here like we're gonna cram a blood tank. Give me the tank. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> The Halo 4 figure for the Anniversary Series would be Henry Glassman. Yeah. Because I feel like... Yeah. Scientist. I feel like they have the parts for that. They could do that. Yeah. That'd be super cool. I yeah. don't think they could give him a vest accessory, though, because I have speculated that in the past, and it was very... Yeah, the they'd either have the coat or they'd have... For accessories. I thought about yeah. adding a scientist in mind. It was either scientist or the worker, so I'm glad you went with that. Like, I like the worker idea. Uh, Halo 5 would be, and this is just this is just off the dome, a new articulation alpha crawler. Yeah. Mm. Okay. We haven't gotten a crawler new articulation. in like many years, and all the old crawlers are just four ball joints. And they the, just have the joints in their shoulders. Right? I feel like it would be super cool if they found a way to make like the new articulated joints on a crawler figure. That would be cool. Mm. That'd be yeah. dope. It's mm. just Spartan arms region. <laughs> yeah. I would have thought you were gonna go with the uh, uh, the uh, the Promethean warrior captain. Oh, like yeah. the ones the turret. Oh, Those yeah, guys. yeah. I Those could have done cool. that. Oh, I kind of wish I would have done that. Actually, that's a good idea. But like I don't know. I feel like I'd rather. Have... I would like a new crawler. Yeah, I feel like you I'd can rather. Tell have I new don't crawlers. have faith in you, Gabe. I thought you were just gonna go for a Halo Five Marine. <laughs> Nope. With the nope. hockey pads and everything? But Halo that Infinite... In like two cutscenes and that's it. For the Halo Infinite figure, I'm obviously going with the uh, Elite Warlord. Because yeah. that's like mm. my favorite mold right now and I want all of them. I want all of them. They are. So yeah, it looks so good. Oh. Imagine him yeah, in like a, that's... a gold or a white. Imagine mm. him in silver. Or anything. Imagine him in my hand. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, Imagine him in my That's pockets. right. Colin's the only one. So I, I would change one thing, Gabe. Okay. I would yeah, let me know your Glassman thoughts about this. In a, I'd put Glassman in a hero's pack, and I would make the Halo 4 figure a reissue of the heavy green marine that originally came in Armory Pack 2, mm-hmm. purely yeah. because when they did that swap to super articulation for that figure, it was available, like, nowhere. Yeah, yeah, it was out for, like, 20 minutes, and then it was gone. Yeah, yeah that'd be a good that'd be a good pick. I could I could dig with a... I could go with a Marine. I have to say, I think I really, really like how you kind of blended that into the 20th anniversary. I think that's yeah. a yeah. really nice pairing, and I yeah. think out of all of, the, all of ours, I think yours has a really kind of good shot to go where mega's at right now yeah um, yeah definitely like i feel yeah like I, would, I could totally that. see them doing that yeah the only thing i'd say is that some of the the i don't think we've ever had official figures in a blind bag 
Right. Yeah. yeah so right. Glassman just, would have to be. Yeah. Yeah. I was just putting them in like there. Us, yeah. Glassman and Keys. So like, if you changed Keys to just a uh, generic captain, uh, or yeah, a CE officer. Yeah, like an admiral or something. Or a yeah. CE yeah. flood combat form. Oh yeah. Well. Or or that would Glassman, work. Maybe just a regular scientist. I think you could do some pretty awesome stuff with that. Yeah. I like I the that. idea of a scientist, yeah. especially because, um, like, I would really like a Heroes of uh, Sandy Tilson. She'd be so easy yes. to make. You have, mm-hmm. yeah. you have Halsey's body. You just need to put the hair up in a different direction, and psh, you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. true. Well, I think, I, and this is going a little bit away from the blind bags, but I think if they were going to do any human, like, officers... Obviously, they don't really have the market appeal to kids, so I can kind of get why we don't get them that frequently. But for collectors, we really want yeah. them. So maybe just do something like a gear pack with them, where you get like a marine, a scientist, and a technician. And instead of alternate mm-hmm. armor, you get alternate head sculpts for the two, like the technician and the scientist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So That's then cool. you could buy a, a few of that pack and have like four scientists, four technicians, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm into it. Mm-hmm. Nice. I, These I are think, good picks. This is I mean, fun. I, I don't know. I was gonna say I, I don't know about solid. you guys, but I think we all had some pretty. I like your guys' ideas. Those were really, if, really, really, so really solid. If I had to rank them on like the 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 like the list of what is most likely to happen, I'd say <laughs> the Gabe's, probability list. Yeah, the yeah. probability list. I'd say Gabe, you're number one. Then yep. Tom's two. Collins three, and then I'm four. I think mine mine would not really all elite. I don't think they do I, an all elite. I'd switch. I yeah. would. I'd switch you and I don't know because Collins is like that's a lot of flood. That's a lot of new molds they'd have. It's to a lot of new molds well, I think and the a only lot of thing money. That, the only thing that draws, well, eventually they're gonna have to do the new mold flood though. Eventually, right? Yeah. So I think I think oh, the only thing that makes infinite. the only thing that makes yours a little yeah infinite possibilities. We know Tom. The only thing that uh, <laughs> the only thing that holds <laughs> Collins back is the. the trying to cram a tank form in there yeah i think that's probably yeah. it but i don't think uh well like with with the elites there's a new mold elite in every blind bag you know what i mean so like yeah yeah it, and with yeah. And i'm asking for i'm asking for high detailed paint on you them. know what i should have done with mine is i should have done the uh, carrier form with the <laughs> the <laughs> oh um, you, infection yeah. forms yeah. With the, so, like they're yeah, stuffed in there cool. and the whole thing <laughs> so you got this big puffy you just would have had this one package like this, and you're like, I wonder which one this is. <laughs> hey, I which say, mom? I'm which holding one? Holding my wallet up, I'm ready to buy all of these. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, but you don't, you don't have any money. You don't have any money. You spent it How all. How dare you expose me like this? I'll, 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 I'll trade you. I'll trade you one Lego Razor Crest. Ooh. There you go. Right. Tom, we already but, talked to built? your parents. They're coming is for it, your card. Is right it now. complete? Uh, it, it's complete. It might not have the minifigures, but they're not part of the build. They're separate, and you can pay a premium. How that cute is that right. baby Yoda figure? <laughs> oh my god, it's adorable. <laughs> well, if we're all feeling good about our pit, well, are we? Yeah. Are we all feeling good about our I'm picks. We good. Like, like what we came I think up with? we smashed it, lads. Yeah. Yeah. I think Tom's I think I, intro uh, really set the mood, though. I felt like that was the yeah. That was <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was good. Uh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> Maybe I should actually prepare for every episode rather than just turn it off. Nah. It would be a good nope. idea. Yeah. We'll be good. <laughs> We're good. So would we uh, We want to move on to the community? Anybody have any uh, community picks they'd like to give some, some shout-outs with? So I am going to take a deep breath because I have got a All lot right. of community stuff this okay. time around. Oh, my God. Um, All right, take it away. So firstly... I'm going to shout out Nick Leitner, who was a brand new member to Mega Constructs Worldwide, which is a Facebook group, mm-hmm. if you weren't aware, um, a short time ago. And he posted a really cool um, build of a kind of corner UNSC structure made out of right. an incomplete mammoth that he titled Only Research Outpost Alamo. Um, it's a really, really cool build with a complete kind of corner technique that I've not seen before. Um, and I've put a photo of it into our internal folder so you guys can check it out. And hopefully the audience will be seeing it now as well. Then I saw that on, on the page. It was really, really cool looking. 
Mm. Noble Six over on Discord um, shared their collection with me um, privately. So they sent me a message on our Discord and then wanted to send through their collection pictures just to show that. So I wanted to shout them out because it's awesome to have somebody sharing that with us. Um, Luke Earl joined for the first time for a live show that we did the other day, just evolved as a whole. And we had some really nice feedback on Twitter. So I wanted to nice. shout him out. Hopefully he's continuing to listen to this as well Hello. then space camper on the mcx forums you have heard this name before really really cool person yeah. has been coming over to the youtube more and more leaving comments there um but they posted a gorgeous custom master chief figure which has got some nice additional paint apps and sculpting including armored gloves mm. and then lastly Rapid Action Animations has an awesome YouTube channel with MCX Animations and also shows a lot of support across all of our videos. So shout out to them. And I am yeah, all thank communityed you for that. out now. So if you want a shout out next episode, it's not happening. Aww. <laughs> I, I do want to shout out someone. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, thanks for uh, everybody's support. That's awesome. I will yeah, shout thank out you very, very much for quickly, all of that. Very quickly. Um, yeah, go ahead. Heavy Weapons Guy. Um, yes. I see him commenting on every video we put out, and it's always nice to see his comments. Yeah, always all the time. Very encouraging. You're a you're a very awesome dude. So uh, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Uh, you have very very kind yeah. words to say. Yeah, More I feel like I'm always disappointed if I don't see him in one of our yeah. top, you know, three yeah. comments. Yeah. Where's our boy? Where's, where's Heavy Weapons guy? <laughs> I must not have woke yeah. up. <laughs> Where is he? That'll uh, that'll do it for the show. Uh, thank you all for joining us here again on Builds with Blocks. If you like the show, feel free to support Podcast Evolved on Patreon. And until next time, Evolved. 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 Mama Burger. <laughs> oh. I can't. Wow. <laughs> I feel like nice. the show hasn't ended until you say Evolved, though, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> the show's not over until you say evolve. Evolve. Thank you. Thank you.